Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube station. Um, I worked thousands of cases. I've uh, been doing this for 51 years. I have about 2,700 videos out there. I'm kind of the place to go if you want to know what happens at IRS or really be, be behind the scenes with Internal Revenue Service. Today I want to talk to you about the 433B financial statement. I am an expert in it. I've taken, I don't know how many I've taken. I worked at IRS for 10 years. Half my cases were businesses, so you tell me how many I've worked. I really don't know. So being a revenue officer, that 433B tells me everything I need to know about the business. Um, uh, by the way, if you need representation, you can give me a call. But I'm looking at that 433B, and the first thing I'm looking at is I'm trying to find out if it makes sense and if you've lied to me. So um, those are the two things I'm initially looking at. The other thing is I'm looking at is, is this. I'm looking at your assets, and I want to see if there's any liquidity in there. Um, or anything you can sell that's not going to hurt your business and pay us. Remember, IRS is a collection agency. And then I'm going to look real closely into your income and expenses. I'm going to drill down on those to making sure you're only paying the expenses that you need to pay and you're not running uh, uh, personal expenses through here. So remember, my overall goal is to get an accurate financial statement to make a determination if as a former, as an agent, if I want to work with you. That's what I'm really there to do. I'm there to collect a tax to get payment in full first and then to get you a payment agreement second. Uh, when you use us, if you call us, what I do is I get that financial statement. I see if I can polish it up, legally move things around to make that look a little better. First thing I'm always going to do is make sure all your tax returns are filed and making sure you're making current deposits at least uh, this month. So IRS knows you're trying. But there's my drill down on your financial statement. I'm going to look at the assets. I'm going to easily find out. Most businesses, the IRS doesn't touch the assets. They don't have a lot of assets to do anything with. And they're used operationally in the business, so you don't want to touch them. But where the agent is going to look is your income and expenses. If you have money left over at the end of the month, that's going to go to IRS to pay your bills. So that income and expense sheet becomes very important. IRS will look at the checks and find out if you're spending money you shouldn't be spending. So let's say that you show you have no money left over, but as a former agent, I would drill down on that financial statement, see, gee, $2,000 is going to things that they shouldn't be spending on and are really their income. I'll set up a $2,000 payment agreement. So be careful giving IRS that 433B. IRS knows where to look. They know where the stink is. They're going to go through this just boom like a buzzsaw. So if you need representation, you need to get that financial statement legally polished and to make sure you look as good as you can in IRS, give me a call. That 433B will make a huge difference in how IRS treats you. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Give me a subscription if you would. Um, I've got a bunch of videos out there. I know the inside operation of IRS. Thank you for the subscription.